Barcelona fans celebrating their team's victory in Saturday's Champions League final. But behind the scenes, there's nothing to cheer about. Football's reputation is taking a beating. Mohammed bin Hammam, one of the sport's top executives, was temporarily suspended on Sunday amid allegations of bribery. The decision was made by these men, the Football Association's Ethics Committee. They're investigating possible cash payments to Caribbean delegates. In the respect of Mr. bin Hammam is hereby provisionally banned from taking part in any kind of football-related activity at national, in the national level, until the FIFA Ethics Committee will reach a decision on the merits in this matter. Bin Hammam says he's confused by the suspensions, calling the punishment disproportionate to the committee's comments. He quit the race to become FIFA president hours before the hearing, leaving only incumbent Sepp Blatter, himself cleared by the Ethics Committee. The World Cup is big business. FIFA generates $4 billion from the competition. But the organization has already faced allegations of improper conduct over bidding for the 2018 and following World Cups. The UK Parliament heard allegations that Qatar's bid team had paid bribes to secure the 2022 competition. FIFA can no longer talk the talk. I think people are tired of FIFA talking the talk. There's been corruption allegations for years and years and years. Uh, in this past year, nine of the FIFA's, of FIFA's executive committee of 24 members have either been sanctioned or implicated in alleged impropriety. That's a serious number of decision makers. Uh, FIFA now must do something. That's a conclusion that football fans around the world can support. Daniel Lester, Bloomberg. <laughs>